So in this part 31, we are going to be setting up the cards for all other models of this application. In the previous class, we did a simple task of changing the background image of our application. So in this class, we are going to be simply setting up the cards for the modules. I can give you this as a homework and I'm actually going to uh, fast do it really fast, uh, very fast at this time. If you want, you can actually pause the video or play the video on a lower speed uh, to catch all my steps. So if we look at what uh, what we've done so far, so this is where we are, we have the background. We also have the parameters home right here. So if you go to other homes, for instance, if I go to help desk, there is nothing there. So we are going to be doing smart programmers way of doing things by copy and paste. Copy, paste and modify. So this is how we do things as a programmer. Uh, once you've done something basic or something that you can reuse don't this don't take time or spend time building a new thing try to think of using something you already have to develop something new all right so let's see again i used to uh, recommend you subscribe to my channel uh, so that you don't miss an update and also if you have any challenges please let me know in the comment box below this video Okay, so what are we going to do now? We are going to be setting up the cards for all the other homes. So uh, these are the other modules. We have completed setting up the parameters, which you already know. So let me now put these modules uh, uh, details side by side with my application or with IntelliJ. And in that way, I'll be able to be seeing both of them at the same time. All right, so this is what we want to do. Um, so, as I told you, we are going to simply copy from the parameters home to other homes. So, let's go to do HR. So, let me come here and I'm going to close this image. And of course, I'm going to close everything. So, if I go to, um, if I go to the index for the parameters, so if I go to SR main resources to templates, Remember that your HTML pages are placed in the templates folder. But since we are doing something organized or more, more or less like a structured monolith, we, are, we organize or arrange all the modules inside subdirectories, account and account uh, directory, assets and assets directory. And it seems we don't have assets here. I can't remember. Oh, assets simply means assets. Uh, we can things we can use. We can. We, I kept it here from the nice admin template. So it includes UI component that we can simply copy and paste. Nice buttons, table designs, and so on. So that is what we have in the assets folder. So the assets is not actually our application module. All right. So I'm going to go to parameters now and go to index. And if I go to index. I have to shift this a little bit. And make some room here and we have three rows three rows corresponding to the three uh rows if i go back here you have three rows row one row two row three row one has three cards row two has three cards row three have one card meaning altogether three plus three plus one there are seven modules or seven objects not modules seven objects or seven entities in the parameters module but if we look at the HR module, we have we have how many entities there? We have only five entities, meaning that we need only two rows. If we want to confirm this, we can simply go to HR here and simply count the number of models we have here. One, two, three, four, five. So we only have five entities there. So we are going to copy from the index of the uh, from the index here we are actually going to copy only two rows. But give me a second, there is something called the breadcrumb. The breadcrumb is very important and it seems it's missing in other models. So if I go to, for instance, the help desk here, we have the breadcrumb, okay. So the breadcrumbs is there, only that it seems that the captions are wrong. So homework for you. Rename the breadcrumbs captions to reflect the particular module where this breadcrumb is displayed. What is a breadcrumb? Breadcrumb is a navigation that displays horizontally above or in the upper section of a page. Just below the header section, you have a breadcrumb. 
All right, so let's go copy and paste. It's simply copy and paste we are going to be doing here. So we have HR model. I'm going to copy two of the rows from here. And I'm going to go to the HR uh, page, HR index here. And I'm going to simply replace this here. I pasted the two rows for the HR. And I can simply go do the same thing for fleet. In case of fleet, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight different objects. So we need three different rows because we have three cards per row. And that means that we have three cards per row. We have three rows. We have three cards, one row, three cards, another row, and two cards, one row. That's going to give us eight different cards for the uh, fleet. So I'm going to go to fleet now and go to index. I'm going to go back to copy the complete three rows instead of just two. So in parameters now, I'm going to copy the three complete rows and use it there in the fleet um, uh, uh, home. So where am I? This is a fleet home and I'm going to just paste the three modules, right? The three uh, rows I copied right here. Okay, so we are going to the help desk now. Um, the help desk only have two different uh, objects. So we, we need only one row. So let me just copy this row here and go to the help desk. And this is my help desk. And I'm just going to come here and just paste this, just one row here. And we have the report. We have reports have also one single, uh, one single row and have two objects. Actually, it could be more because I think I forgot to uh, outline other report objects that needed to be created. But for now, let's just assume that the reports have only one row made up of three different objects. And let's proceed to accounts. Accounts have how many objects? One, two, three, four, five. And that becomes two different rows. It means that we have three cards in one row and two cards in the second row. So I'm going to copy uh, only two different rows for the account. So I'm going to copy these two and go to the accounts and go to the index and just paste it right here. Right here. Payroll has three different objects. So I'm going to copy only one row for the payroll. I think you understand how it works now. And I'm going to the index of the payroll. I'm going to paste it right here. And finally, we have security. Security should have only one row, and I'm going to paste it right here as well. Okay, so I'm going to restart this application, and let's check that all these homes, they are displayed correctly. And then we are going to go now to start changing the text to reflect uh, the correct text that it should be that should be in these home pages. So let me restart the application, and let's see if our copy and paste actually works. So application started and I'm going to go to Google Chrome and I'm going to first refresh this and you can see this is the fleet, actually the fleet home as you can see, but it's displaying the HR because we did a copy and paste. If I go to the HR, we have the HR is also the HR home, but it's displaying the same thing. And we go to help desk, we have only one, we go to reports, home, we go to security as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change up the names of the modules, I mean the captions of these modules to reflect what is there. And I'm going to quick, uh, I'm going to breeze through it. I'm going to fast right, uh, fast forward this video as I do it. So you can pause the video and do it, or you can do it yourself. I think either way is okay. Okay, so I'm done with renaming all these modules and I'm going to now rest, uh, uh, restart the application and let's just see how it looks like and then we continue from there. Um, okay, so it started and let's go check how it looks like. So I'm going to refresh this page now and we have security, we have security, we have users and roles, we have reports, we have account report, vehicle hires reports and we have help desk, we have ticket and ticket status. And we have accounts, we have account home, transaction invoice, and so on. Now, I'm giving you now a homework. The homework is of two parts. A part says, change the captions of these buttons now to manage 
transact to manage the 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 particular object right so instead of manage countries here you have to show manage transactions and here instead of saying manage manage module say uh, manage transaction types okay so change the captions of these both things that is your homework and make sure you do it because it's really very important I'm not gonna do it with you I'm gonna do it as a homework for myself offline and in the next part I hope that we've uh, we've got over with this one the part two of this homework says change the URLs of these uh, buttons. So what do I mean? If you go to if you go to the href um, here, so for each of them you have the href attribute right here. So for instance, if we go to um, let's say in this place we are in security. So it's going to be security slash users. Like in this case, we're going to expand it. So when we have this users here, this href is a button and it's going to be security, security here slash users. Okay. So that is how the URL is going to be. But later I'm going to show you, we are going to make a little bit of change in this URL later on. But for now, try to do it yourself and let's see how it plays out. And one more thing, homework number three. You need to change the captions of the breadcrumb and the captions of each of the page. What I mean is this, if you go to the pages now, you see if I go to, flit, the, to the fleet and go to fleet home, it's telling me HR home. And you have here home, HR home, HR home. Change it to fleet home. And if you go to accounts, it's telling me HR home, change it to account home, and that is what you should do. That's homework number three. Just to recap all these three homeworks I gave you. One, change the captions of the buttons. That's the first one. Number two, change the href or the URL, the, the anchor tag links of each of the buttons, that href attributes. And number three, change the caption or the title of each of the pages from what is currently is to the correct uh, title of the page and once you do this we are done with this ui thing and then we are going to be moving on to the next part let's check yeah so we are going to now move on to the next part which is part 32 that says crud for state where we are going to be talking about loading a drop down i actually have to do it quickly but i'm going to just show you how to load data in a drop down so I'm going to be stopping here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Support my channel by buying me a coffee or support me on Patreon or Stripe. Or leave me a comment that tells me that I'm actually doing great. That motivates me to do this because I'm actually doing this for free. As a researcher, this is what I actually do. I like imparting knowledge. I like sharing my knowledge. That is my passion. And I would like to recommend you to subscribe me, uh, uh, support me. I remain kind to the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.